Hi, my name is Kahari Nash, and today I will be presenting to you guys my English 4 project on the Book of Hamlet written by Shakespeare. And basically what my project is, is I pick a soliloquy from the Book of Hamlet, and I have chosen Act 3, Scene 1, which is commonly referred to as the to be or not to be soliloquy. Why I have chosen this soliloquy is because um, I was reading this quote and I feel like um, even though Hamlet is a fictional character and everything in the story is um, kind of based off true events, but is overall a fictional story. And um, the the main thing that stuck out to me, it is still relevant today in this day and age. And um, that is because uh, everyone questions life and everybody questions what goes on and if it is better to kill yourself because you can't take what the world is throwing at you or can you raise up and fight back and stand tall against anything that the world throws at you and that's basically what this soliloquy is about and that's why I chose it because it is still relevant today and even relevant in my life it's probably relevant in your life and you just don't want to admit it but or you do admit it it doesn't matter it is still relevant in everybody's life so this is a really important quote to me and I'm pretty sure to everybody else who has heard this soliloquy so let's jump right into it to be or not to be that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings of arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing in them to die to sleep no more and by sleep to say we end the heartache and thousands of natural shocks that flesh is to air tis a consummation devoutly to be wished to die to sleep to sleep perchance to dream I there's the rub for in the sleep of death where dreams may come and we have shifted out of this mortal coil must give us pause there is respect that makes calamity of slow long for who would bear the whips and scorns of time that our pressures wrong the proud man's continually the pangs of despised love and laws decay the insolence of office and the spurs that patient merit of those unworthy takes when him he himself might his quintius make with a bare bodkin who would feral bear to grunt and sweat under the weary life but the dread that something after death? The undiscovered country for those who born, no travelers return, puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to the others we know not of? The thus the conscious does make cowards of all of us. And thus the native hue of resolution is slickled o'er the wild pale cast of thought and the enterprises of the great pit of the moment and with regards their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. So soft now, the fair Ophelia, nymph in thy oceans, be all my sins remembered. 